Call it what you mean. I take it offensive because I'm the hottest flower boy that popped up on the scene. Hi guys. I know I've hinted this a lot in previous videos, but I haven't really been specific on like what kind of college or high school I go to. A side note, you guys should really watch through this whole video because I have some tips and some like answers to questions and stuff like that that you might be questioning. What I go to is called like an early college high school program. So I'm going to tell you guys what to expect and you know other stuff like that. First question. Okay, so I'm applying for a early college and I'm scared. Like, what if I can't make friends? What if it's too hard? Okay, so what, before I went to early college or whatever, I was super scared too. My friends weren't going to early college with me. Like, I hardly knew anyone there. So I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna be like alone and I'm not gonna have any friends and I'm gonna be a loner and it's gonna be difficult and then I'm gonna be stressed and I'm gonna like drop out or whatever. But one thing that's important to know is that everyone is going through the same kind of stress, the same kind of struggles, everything that you're going through they are also going through and it's easy to make friends because you're all going through the same stuff and i'll admit it can get stressful and like difficult at times i've personally never really considered dropping out but i know some of my friends who have some of my friends who actually have dropped out it happens so you know like you never know it could happen to you or you could be someone that really deals well with the stress and you'll be fine with it you'll never know unless you try it so i feel like you should just go to the program see how it is and i'm pretty sure you can do it how many credits did you have to earn for your degree and do you have any tips on what to major in? In normal high school, in order to stay on track for graduation and to graduate and get your diploma, students in high school must earn 30 credits per semester and 60 per year. And to get an associate's, you need 60 semester credits of study or 90 quarter credits, which is like about 20 college courses or sometimes less depending on like what kind of classes you take like not that hard because the classes you take for college some of the credits also count towards classes we take for high school for example we only take bio and like chem which is like two classes right and then the other science classes we take at the college i would definitely check in with your counselor because it might be different for your own program than it is for mine did any of the kids leave the program and return to regular high school of course, absolutely. Like, honestly, we had so many people who joined, and we had, like, a lot of people in the beginning of, like, freshman year or whatever, and now it's um, almost junior year, and, like, a ton of people have left. A couple people have joined um, throughout random points in the year, and apparently more people are coming, so someone else says, do they have dances and stuff? Just curious. Dances, like homecoming and prom, no, we don't have our specific, like, early college dance or early college like whatever um my my program we've had prom but it's like due to our program being so small it's not that fun because there's like what like 100 200 kids like we don't have our own homecoming and prom specifically for early college but you go to your high school ones same goes for like football games and stuff like that Someone else said, also, doesn't it suck not being able to do senior photos and not being in the yearbook? If you do senior photos, as for us, you are in the high school yearbook. When people buy the high school yearbook at the, you know, normal high school, they'll see you in it. They probably won't know who you are because you go to early college and it doesn't signify like you go to early college or anything. My early college program has our own kind of yearbook magazine type thing going on which is just full of us, the early college kids, you know, people you actually know. So no, you don't really miss out on senior photos or the yearbook. I mean, not at, la at, not at mine anyway. Someone said, I'm so nervous. Honestly, I was too. You'll be fine. Like, I don't even remember that much of the first day because it was such a blur and I was so nervous and I didn't know where anything was. But eventually, you'll get the hang of it and it won't be any, like, more difficult than your first day at a normal high school. Maybe your first day at a normal high school would be crazier because there's way more people and, you know, it's like buildings might be more confusing or whatever, but it's normal to be nervous. Someone else asked, when do they, at, when do they call you for an interview? 
Uh, during my year, we didn't have interviews. They kind of just asked us for an essay, and like we filled out this packet or whatever. It was an essay, and it was like a bunch of questions about us, a couple like sign signature things that we had to sign. And they said that if it really came to it, there would be like interviews or um, like random selection of just names who get in or whatever. We didn't do the interviews. Like we never got called for interviews. And I was on the wait list. Like I was first on the wait list. And I found out it was because they randomized it. And there's this girl I didn't really talk to. I mean, fall and she's in my videos and everything. I wasn't really close with her like whatsoever. But she was second on the wait list. And I was like looking around at my middle school. And a bunch of people who had way worse grades than me and probably not to be, I don't know, like braggy or whatever, but probably not as good of an essay as me. Oh, wow, that sounded really stuck up. <laughs> but like they got in and I got waitlisted. So yeah, they just randomized it and I thought that was kind of messed up. But you know, whatever, I got in, so I'm cool. Also, all the people that got in with the bad grades and stuff, they ended up dropping out. So someone else said, I really enjoy band and art, but I haven't heard anyone from early college mention things like that. Do they offer it? Yeah, the college classes offer both band and art, but early college doesn't have its own like band or art. And at my campus, you can't join the high school's band. You can't be in band if you're in early college. I don't know why. I guess like prior commitments, you have to be at the club meetings or like classes or whatever. I don't know. I'm not in band. College art. You don't. You don't have a high school art, but you might, but I mean, you know, college art classes, and there's like lots of different kinds too. What about cooking class and all the different clubs and such? Are they only offered in a typical high school? My early college, we have a ton of clubs. We're making clubs, you know, we're only in like the fifth or sixth, like fifth year of like existing or whatever. So we don't have that many clubs, but they're still available. And if you don't like the high school clubs, you can still join the college clubs. And then as for a cooking class, I don't have cooking class. I don't have cooking club. Um, there's nothing like that in the college. I don't know where you would even cook. Like, there's nothing you have like that. I remember going on a shadow day at a high school, and they had, like, a whole room with all the kitchen stuff. And so, like, we don't have that. I mean, maybe some other early college might. And someone else said, I'm scared it's going to be hard, and I won't be able to take it. Um, wow. Uh, I was going to misinterpret that, but... Honestly, like I said, it's not that hard. Like, you'll be fine. I was nervous about it. I was worried about it. But it's not that bad. Like, everyone's in the same kind of situation, kind of dilemma as you are. Like, it's not that bad. Like, you'll be fine. And then a bunch of people complain, or not complain, but like they worry about not getting the high school experience. And I guess the high school experience is like what you see in the movies where it's like, I don't know, like, just think of, like, any high school movie or whatever, like, teen movie, I guess, like, they're talking about that. No, you won't get the high school experience. You don't. I mean, yeah, there's, like, prom and homecoming and stuff like that. People always bring that up, like, no, you get you get to go to football games. You, you can go to football games. No one says you can't go. But the high school experience, like, lockers and stuff, I don't even think at my base high school they have lockers. Like, at middle school, my middle school didn't have lockers elementary school didn't have lockers and now college I don't have lockers so I've never had a single locker in my entire life which is crazy because when I was little that was like probably what I looked forward to the most in middle and high school like a locker I loved like I just wanted a locker of my own I always remember getting supplies for ele elementary school and they'd be like little like locker chandeliers or like magnets or whatever and I'd be so jealous I'd be like oh my god I can't wait to get a locker but you know what? Never had a locker, and I honestly don't really care. Like, I don't cry over it or anything. I was kind of sad and disappointed, I guess, but it's not that big of a deal. The high school experience, honestly, not that great, you know, whatever. I'm cool on missing out of in the high school experience if I get to be, like, two years ahead of everyone around me. Today, I'm gonna be answering some uh, questions that I got that were not answered in whatever I previously filmed. Okay, somebody asked me, what's the difference between early college and middle college? So as I was doing my research on what the difference is, because at that point I had never heard of what a middle college was, it was kind of weird because it was saying stuff like, oh, the middle college, they take their high school and college classes on the college campus with other college students, and I was like, we do the same thing at early college, and then they were saying 
some early college requires a, a 13th year and middle college doesn't, which isn't true. You only really need to stay for a 13th year if you haven't done your general ed or hasn't like specialized in anything. Or um, so that wasn't true. Basically, I didn't really find any outlying major differences. They were f both funded by the same foundation. They're literally almost the same thing. I don't, it's just the difference in name, I'm assuming. Another question was, do you take a test to get in? No, I did not take a test. I mean, I did like eighth grade like promotion tests and stuff, but I'm pretty sure that was just to get into any high school, not just early college. They didn't do an interview. They ended up not doing it, but I think they did it for this year's incoming freshman. What does your middle school GPA have to be? My middle school GPA, eighth grade, I got a 4.0. So I think you had to have like a minimum 3.0 or 3. Point I think it was a 3.0 to get into early college or maybe even a 2.5 i don't remember but it's like you have to do the bare minimum like it's not that hard to get a c average or a b average if you just put in a little bit of effort is it better and i don't know if they mean like better than middle school or better than middle college um is it better than middle school definitely i hated my middle school it's so much better than middle school but better than middle middle college i don't know because i've never been <laughs> i've never been to one so i can't answer that for you um the other question was are classes flexible your high school classes they get assigned to you there's so few people anyways like you're gonna end up in one class or the other flexible i mean can you change them up and stuff no i wouldn't say you can but you know, it depends on what program you get into because if they let you choose your high school classes, then you get to choose your college classes and it's like really flexible for you. So, yeah, and then if you choose online college classes, even better. You don't even have to be at a specific place at a certain time except for your high school classes. Likes and dislikes. There's like not that many people and then that's also a dislike because you know everyone, but then everyone knows you and then like drama and stuff like that. It's a cool program. I like it. I actually enjoy waking up in the morning going to school. It's like school, so obviously there's like bad things, but then it's not as bad because it's high school. I mean, it's not high school. I don't know. Um, and then you said you're nervous. It's okay to be nervous. I was hella nervous. What are the requirements to take, the to take a college course? Sometimes there are placement tests. Sometimes there are um, prerequisites, which is like, oh, you have to take math one before you take math two obviously you know how numbers work blah 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 do we have to pay tuition and purchase textbook the thing is most of these questions can be answered at the orientation so if you guys have an orientation you definitely need to go someone else said i never understood the usa school system how can you be in college and high school at the same time what i do realize that all early college programs are different and what i say in my video might not apply to your early college it differs but one thing that you should take away from this video regardless of what early college you're going into it's like it's okay to be stressed it's okay to be nervous it's okay to be worried it's all normal you know there's bound to be at least one college class that your friends don't want to take or aren't going to take or can't take or whatever that you're gonna have to take alone or with like people you don't know that well and you're gonna have to get used to making new friends with college students and honestly they're not that scary some of them literally just graduated from high school like yesterday so they're pretty much in the same boat as you in terms of being like nervous or whatever um yeah they're older than you but they also don't have that much college experience i graduated early a lot of students take five years but i did it in four so i was taking class what okay um at my early college you four years like a lot of people isn't really like some people will stay for an extra semester or or two but that's not the majority that's the minority but i guess it's different for her but i guess i don't know just like graduating early for her like that's kind of normal like there are still some seniors right now who are planning to stay either they didn't complete their associates or maybe they want to get another one or they want to stay so they can become a transfer student because being a transfer student guarantees you admission to specific colleges you can be an extrovert and thrive at an early college and you can make friends and stuff you do have to bear in mind that it's less if you already got in the program if you feel you know like already on it 
definitely go to your orientations definitely go to any kind of school tour or like anything like that um, like any socials or mixers or whatever I guess you'll get to meet people and make new friends meet your teachers get your books I don't really have any advice on what classes to take because usually for first-time students they'll like give you a choice like between this or this like for us it was between Spanish or French so thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed um, keep watching my early college videos and vlogs. Maybe you'll, I don't know, get less nervous. Not like I get any money from you watching it anyway, so. Okay. Through drought and fan.